Hello and welcome to the Ohio Hikers Handbook, a video series highlighting trail safety right here in the Buckeye State. Hi, I'm your host, Josiah Wade, and today we're at Whipple State Nature Preserve in Southern Ohio, and joining us is botanist Andrew Gibson from our Division of Natural Areas and Preserves. Andrew, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, it's my pleasure. And this really is a really cool and special site. Well, it absolutely is like many of our state nature preserves. And one thing that's crucial for the Division of Natural Areas and Preserves is maintaining that, right? That's absolutely right. Here on our state nature preserves, we have many state endangered and state threatened species of plants, as well as unique geological features that we need to protect. Most state nature preserves contain small parking lots and a trail system, but some don't offer any user accessible facilities. Restrooms, picnic facilities, and areas for active recreation are generally not available. Each preserve is managed to allow visitation with the least amount of physical impact to the natural environment. For example, boardwalks may be provided to give visitors a chance to experience particularly fragile habitats like bogs and fens. At many preserves, visitors will see interpretive signage explaining the natural and cultural history of each site. Plan ahead by visiting a preserve's website to determine types and conditions of the trails for proper footwear, and please note that biting insects and ticks may be present. Unfortunately, pets are not allowed at Ohio State Nature Preserves. There's a few reasons for this. While people can walk on trails and boardwalks at most preserves, preserve managers always strive for a balance at the site so the ecological integrity of each preserve is maintained. Pets in state nature preserves can introduce disease, add nutrients to the soils, spread invasive species, and distract and disturb wildlife. When you leave your pets at home, you are helping to protect your preserve's delicate ecosystem. And don't forget that some of our state nature preserves are accessible by permit only, which you can apply for for free on our division's website. And remember to take your trash with you when you're finished hiking at our preserves. We want to keep these unique and special places protected for generations to come. All right, well, plenty of good reasons to visit a nature preserve this spring. Thanks, Andrew. Keep up with us this spring in our wildflower bloom reports at ohiodnr.gov. We'll provide info on which wildflowers are blooming and where you can find them. Well, thanks for watching the Ohio Hikers Handbook. We look forward to seeing you in the outdoors.